So this week we are in Vegas to work with Steph, one of our branding clients, and we'll also be headed up to Zion in a little bit. We just spent three days driving cross country. By far our favorite part was driving through the Rockies and then through a little bit of Utah just because we don't get very many mountains in the Midwest, but here we definitely do. And now that we're here in Vegas, we're gonna be working with Steph. to do when we're traveling is using hotel rooms or Airbnbs that have the aesthetic that matches the client we're working with. So as you see here, we're working with Steph this week and she actually rented out a hotel room pretty up high, it has this nice balcony that wraps all around, you have the view of Las Vegas and it has a lot of the vibes that she was really looking for and so for much of the morning we're just going to spend our time here shooting inside the room, going through a number of outfits so she gets a lot of different looks and then we'll move down to probably working on the strip, going to a coffee shop, and then we'll head out further into the desert to Magic Mountains. So that kind of wraps up most of our like downtown on the strips portion. Now we're headed out towards Bungalow Coffee, which is something that both Joel and Steph are super excited about. Our third stop is Bungalow Coffee. Uh, really, really good coffee. We've been getting some photos around and now we're going to be using a couple of really cool walls around like that one. Then we're heading to the desert to end the day. So going well so far. We're being super intentional and productive with our outfits and our locations and I'm very excited to go through all the content later tonight. So we left the downtown of Vegas and there happens to be wind and cold out here. So we're out here by Seven Magic Mountains, wherever they are. We got out of the car and fished out all of our winter gear. So I put on an extra layer and a sweater and she put on winter jacket and a shirt uh, Benefits of road tripping is we're going through multiple climates. <laughs> so we're prepared for once in our life. Well, after we dropped off Steph and Fran, we came back to kind of take a couple pictures for ourselves. Um, it is still very cold, but it is really cool seeing the remainder of the sunset. One of the cool things of traveling as photographers is pretty much anywhere you go, there's definitely cool things to see. And being the adventurous type that we are, Close to Vegas is Zion National Park. We got up and did like a three-ish hour drive this morning. So now we're actually up in Zion. You can see much of it around here. We're doing what's called the Angel's Landing hike, about like a five and a half mile hike. We're hoping it'll take us three and a half hours. We made it a whopping 0.45 of a mile and both of us took our jackets off. So it's either gonna be a cold hike or a hot hike doesn't seem like many in-betweens we're well into the switchbacks now headed up this hill it's a lot of pretty tight switchbacks because we're trying to go up a pretty steep hill as you can see by this as soon as we got out of the sun the uh, cold caught up on it with us so it's actually pretty cold now so jackets are back gloves are back hood because someone's freezing 
it's winter here, off season, and we figured out one of the reasons why. There's ice. Kind of slippery, and it's a little bit daunting with the fact that the edge we're looking over is pretty much straight down. So slipping, not a good idea. We got pretty close to the top so we climbed up to this is the last bit here but the chain kind of ran out and there was a section that's like super icy not just like kind of icy and there's still a pretty sweet view from up here we're on like kind of a flat area up here so there there's a lot up here on this landing that's really beautiful but it's not worth slipping off the edge just to get to the very top so we're gonna take some pictures and head back down before the sun sets down is slightly more risky because uh you can't see where all the icy spots so we're basically backing down a bunch of this chain across all the snow and ice to get to the bottom but we're making progress it's fun for me as we're coming down we are very much reminded how much of a good thing the chains are because a lot of these trails go super close to the edge like you can see where Joel's standing right now like right on the edge and the chain is something for holding on that makes a huge difference. So without these chains, I would be way less comfortable doing this hike. And so whoever put these in years ago, kudos to them. That brings us down Angel's Landing. We're finishing up the last bit of the switchbacks, heading down, made it out of the icy section. That was excellent with all 20 plus switchbacks that were all frozen. Now we're gonna check out the rest of the scenic drive here at Zion and make it out of the park by sunset head over to our cabin i'll show you in a bit we're staying at zion resort and this is our cute little cabin that we've been staying in it's pretty small we'll show you around pretty much as soon as you walk in the door what you see is what is there um there's a, a bathhouse that you have to walk to in order to shower or use the bathroom there's no bathroom inside This is pretty much it. We got a couple bunk beds. What's cool is this couch actually pulls out, so technically you could fit six people in here. It'd be a little cozy, but you could do it. And that's it. So that rounds out our time in Vegas, shooting with Steph and going to Zion. We're packing up, getting ready to head out here. We're actually headed to Sedona. So next week you'll see us working with Sammy in Sedona. Um, Subscribe if you want to see some of that, more of our photo shoot content, and even some hiking, because I think we might be doing Soldier's Pass while we're there in Sedona. Really looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, if you've made it this far, and see you guys next week. Yeah.